Hey everybody, it's Kayla with Glitter Chimp coming to you today from my craft room to do an awesome tutorial on the Unicorn Burst Tumblers. These are great cups for, I mean, anybody who loves unicorns. They're very bright, full of pastels, and they just sparkle so well. And it's a cool video because with this type of a tumbler, I get to teach you guys two different techniques. One is, of course, the unicorn tumbler, but the other one also is to do tacket method in the same video. So it's kind of a cool, unique video. Um, I'm really excited about this. Uh, I've only made one of these before, but I plan on making one for this video. And also, I really, really, really want to make a dark one. Um, I'm not a very light, bright person. I like darker colors. So I'm going to make one that's darker colors. And I figure, I guess, the opposite of a unicorn tumbler would be a, like a a dragon, I guess. I don't know as far as opposites of mythical beasts, but we'll go with dragon. So um, if someone already has named what it is when it's a darker tumbler, whatever, it's fine. I'm just going to call it a dragon burst. Um, so I'm going to make another one of those. I won't do it in the video, but I'm going to make one just because I want one for myself. Uh, but anyway, so let's go ahead and get the camera flipped down so y'all can see how this is done. And I'm going to do it as quickly as possible because, I mean, this is going to take some steps of prep and then we have to go outside for spray paint and all that stuff, but it's going to be just fine. So let's go ahead and get this started. Okay. So what we're going to be trying to do today again is the unicorn burst. Um, so all I have right here is just a plain white tumbler, which is of course what we need for this. I have three colors of paint, which, um, they're just Americana acrylic paint. Um, we've got sea breeze, carousel pink, and bright yellow. And we're going to basically put these on the cup first. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and just use my little measuring cups to hold my paint. All right, so we got this cute little teal color. That is more than enough paint. So that is sea breeze. I'm gonna use carousel pink and bright yellow. Yeah. All right, so those are the three colors we're gonna use. And I have my cup here. So what we're gonna do is brush each of these colors on here. I have one brush, because I can't figure out where my child put my other brushes. Um, but we're going to do it at an angle, just like if you're doing like a swirl or a Milky Way or something like that. And of course, I have some water to rinse my brush since I only have the one brush today. Clearly, I need to figure out where my daughter put all of my paint from this or my brushes from this weekend. So we're just going to go ahead and just jump on in with this and brush this on here. And this is just a paintbrush. I got at Hobby Lobby and a pack of paintbrushes. So it's nothing fancy or anything here. Try to get as much water out as I can. Come in here and do the teal next to it. And the reason you're going to cover the entire cup is because you're actually going to go back in with this um, with some white spray paint over the top once this dries. So just going to go around the circle here. Sling and paint, sling and paint. And it's okay if your colors kind of blend because then it kind of actually gives it a little extra something once you uh, once we put the paint over the top of it and then the tack it. I'm gonna make a huge mess. I can already tell. Then we're gonna do the yellow. Which of course is blending in with the teal, which is awesome because now I got a little green on there. So I'm going to go with the pink again. It's 
So it's got a nice ombre effect there. I really hope I get these lines perfectly straight here. Not straight, but um, spaced out so that I can do teal and then the yellow. And it'll be all even. So now, and with the teal. Teal now, and so now I'm going to go in with yellow. I'm actually going to do the pink first and make the pink line a little bit thicker. Just gonna make a huge mess. What I'm gonna do make a big old mess, right? That's why we do this because it's fun. I need to get the bottom here. I mean, I realize this is gonna get painted white, so just wanna make sure my edges are all covered. Now we're gonna go back in with the yellow and get that in there in the middle which will give me the green and the orange when you blend the two together with the pink. And of course, when you put the yellow in with the teal, you get the green. Sorry if I keep moving this off camera. So now we have our unicorn burst swirl. So what we're gonna do is let this dry and then I will go outside, of course, and spray this with spray paint, which I'll show you guys in just a few minutes after this is dry. Okay, so I have my matte white spray paint. I have my cup here for the unicorn burst. So what I'm gonna do is spray paint from the top towards the middle and then we're gonna spray paint the bottom again and go this direction towards the middle. So it leaves just this nice middle section here. So we're going to go get started. I'm trying to spray paint in the wind. This sounds like a great idea. So what ends up happening, of course, is you get the nice fade here. So now I'm going to switch directions here. I'm going to get the bottom of it. And then go the other direction. I really wish it wasn't windy. Alright. So now I'm left with just a little bit of where the paint is just sort of breaking through. And now we're gonna let this dry and come back and do tack it over the top of that. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, so now I've got the tumbler here. It looks so good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take, oh my goodness, is this a brand new bottle of tack it? Shoot, it sure is. Well, I'm gonna open my tack it first. Don't know where that just went, but okay. All right, so I've got my tack it. I'm gonna just put it in this cup here and this is just your normal Aileen's Tacket over and over. I bought this on Amazon in a three pack. All right, so I'm gonna put my lid back on there. I have this horrible naked cup of, of water and I'm literally just gonna add, I mean, it's not much water. You're trying to get it to resemble the same consistency as um, like Mod Podge. Otherwise it's really, really thick. 
Choo, doo -doo, doo -doo. So you basically want it to like be like Mod Podge or like an Elmer's glue kind of consistency. Otherwise, it's so super thick. And just like a drop. <laughs> or put too much in. Yeah, put too much in. Okay, well, lucky for me, I don't mind mixing up more Tacket. Um, because I actually do two layers of Tacket. Um, because I help I think it kind of helps get rid of lines and stuff like that may places I may have missed. So I'm gonna do two layers of Tacket. And uh, to help speed up the drying process, I use my heat gun. So, put that over there. Ooh, making a huge mess now. All right, ooh, where's the lid? Here we go. My whole work area now just is a complete, just mess. Because I'm trying to do like multiple things today at the same time and it's just not going well. All right, so I have just a synthetic brush. I wish I had a bigger brush, but again, my daughter has taken all of my paint brushes, so I don't know where to even mark. Um, so I'll just use this brush, which is totally fine. Um, so this is what it looks like. What I'm gonna do is just go ahead and just brush tack it on the entire cup. And because it is white, it does make it a little bit harder to um, see that I've got tack it on the entire thing but that's okay. That's why I'm going to do two coats on this. All right. So I've got that now. I'll look shiny. I'm just going to spin this around, make sure. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry and then I will come back and do a second layer. So I'm going to turn the camera off for a second so I can get this dried and then come back and put on the second coat. Okay, so this is nice dry. So I'm actually going to go ahead and go and put the second coat of Tacket on here. All right, so now that's done. So we're going to let this dry and we'll come back and we're going to be putting Mother of Pearl onto this tumbler. So we will be back in just a minute. Okay, guys, this is now oh so sticky, which is what we want. So I've got Mother of Pearl here and just ran out of this the other day. So now I have a new bottle. I'm trying to basically juggle here. All right, so we're going to use Mother of Pearl. This is a fine cut, so it's a little bit bigger. Um cut of glitter but this is a, what we refer to as a rainbow glitter it's also known as iridescent which basically means it's a it's a translucent glitter so what will happen is as I put this on you will actually see the color from the underneath the base coat come through the glitter which is what you will want when it comes to a tacket cup so what am I doing here guys so basically you're going to coat the entire tumbler And the glitter, of course, will just stick to the tacket. And don't forget to do the bottom and the edge. All right, and even that, you can see the pink and the, the coral and the yellow or and the blue coming through. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this inside back of the cup. Boop, okay. Now the fun part. So now you're just gonna take your fingers and rub the glitter down so that it lays flat and it creates that very nice opal effect. And 
and mother of pearl is a great color for this because it's white um, but once you get it on there you'll actually see it's got a pink like greenish shift to it <laughs> this feels weird on my fingers all right now I'm just gonna keep going around look at how beautiful that is Don't forget to do the bottom. And what you're wanting is a completely smooth texture, which is what we have achieved. And so now you can see just that burst of color through the center of the cup. And now, hey, sorry about that guys. I don't know what happened to the video for a second. Uh, but anyway, so we finished this. Now it's perfectly nice and smooth. So what we're gonna do next is the burst part of this tumbler. Now on this, if you wanted to leave this just like this, you totally can, totally fine. Still gonna look incredible once it's all finished. Um, so I'm trying to get paper. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the burst aspect of this tumbler. So I actually have my Mod Podge here. Um, my Mod Podge is in a squeeze bottle. And I'm actually gonna Mod Podge the entire cup so I can add the burst, if I can get the lid off, there it goes, the, um, <laughs> the burst of glitter on this, which is also great too, because then the Mod Podge actually acts kind of like a seal. So I'm gonna just paint this all on here. And of course you can use a spray seal beforehand. Um, it, it's totally, totally up to you. Um, I didn't do one on this cause I'm just gonna put Mod Podge on it, but you can. Um, but this is just how I do these. Almost all the way around. Now we got it all the way around. Okay, all the way around. You don't have to put it on the bottom, you're just doing it on the sides here. Set that over there. So I'm gonna be using, and I have it on my <laughs> Mod Podge on my thumb. So I'm gonna use Girl's Best Friend, and the only reason is because this is a nice white mixology but it's got that great mirrored effect to it. Hmm. Okay, I'm like losing my mind here, you guys. Forgetting like the steps here. All right, so I'm gonna take my cup, I'm gonna hold it like this. And this is so the glitter will fall some this direction, then I'm gonna tilt it this way so it goes the other direction. So I'm gonna start kind of in the middle of the burst. And just work my, ray, my way around the cup. And now I'm gonna tilt my cup a little bit this way. All right, now I'm gonna go this direction. So 
I've got now. It kind of looks like a belt around the cup and then it bursts out a little bit. Got some pieces standing up, so I'm gonna kind of just tap those down, which will help me when I put epoxy on this. And so I've got some spots in here that I don't like how it looks, it's too thin. So y'all know me, I like to use my hands. So I'm gonna just do a little sprinkling a little easier for me. All right, so now get a little bit. more towards the center here. All right, so now we're gonna let this dry and then we'll come back and put on epoxy afterwards. So once this is dry, we'll get on with the next step. So we have the cup already nice and dry now. The Mod Podge is nice, set, and dry. So the glitter is of course not moving. Now, Normally with this type of a design, if you are going to be like, this is it, I'd recommend spray sealing it. But because it's a burst, I am not worried about this glitter moving around the tumbler. If it goes a little further down or a little further up, it doesn't bother me a bit because it's part of the design. It's a burst. So we're gonna go ahead and get this party started. I'm going to start epoxying. I'm using the Glitter Chimp Pro on this because it is getting late. So if it spins all night, totally works for me because I won't be awake. And then we can finish this video in the morning. All right, so got my epoxy all stirred. Have my torch ready. All right, let's pour some epoxy on here. So I'm gonna pour it starting in the middle and that's just to kind of get the glitter covered first, and then I'll work my way up and down the cup. There's no real rhyme or reason to it. This is just how I always start whenever I try to cover the big pieces of glitter first. pretty good. I mean, this, it looks great. Making sure I've got epoxy on all of this. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna hit this with the torch. Of course, when I do that, I'm gonna mute this, speed it up and stuff. Y'all don't wanna watch all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off my glove, get that going. And uh, yeah, so after I finish torching it, I'll let it spin for a second. And um, I will come back again whenever all this is cured and we can go over how it all looks at the end. So we will get to that part next. Okay, everybody, here's our unicorn burst tumbler that we did. And this is so cute. Um, I really love how Mother of Pearl, I mean, you can see how it shifts. It's just gorgeous as a tacket color. Any of the white rainbow glitter, though, will do so well as a tacket for this type of a tumbler. Uh, it's just a matter of what kind of like color you want it to shift to. Um, but then the way it covers up the, you know, that rainbow burst that we did in the middle. I mean, that is so pretty. The colors blended so well. So you end up with the greens between the yellow and the blue and you get purple between there. And or, I mean, it's just beautiful, beautiful cup. Love how this turned out. Um, 
Anyways, I really look forward to seeing you guys post these when you make them because these are so cute and so fun, especially for the spring and the summer. These are going to be great at craft shows um, just because these are going to be something that people see from a distance and it pulls them into your booth, um, which is why they're great. And they're great for like just a ready to ship cup that you can just make and have. And then, I mean, literally this has one coat of epoxy on it and all you would have to do is throw another coat you know, a decal on it and another coat of epoxy and you're done with two coats of epoxy how amazing is that anytime that I can save and not have to do a whole bunch of epoxy work is the best in my opinion um but anyways I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please comment below tell me what you think or if you have any other videos you want to see me do please comment below and I'll do my best to get that kind of a video done for you Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Tumblr TV, and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our videos. We're trying to push out as much content as we possibly can right now. So right now I've got, I'm looking at my calendar over here. I've got two more videos I want to get done this week for this week. So we, again, a lot of stuff coming out. Um, one of these videos is a special video where I've got a special helper that's going to help me make the cup. And I'm really excited about that video because... Well, he's never made a cup before, so it'll be really fun. Um, so I hope you guys subscribe and, you know, hit that notification bell so you don't miss that video because I promise the person that's going to help me with that cup is going to make you guys laugh. And he's just a silly little boy. I mean, it's just going to be so much fun. Um, anyways, if you have any questions or anything about Glitter Chimp or our epoxy, please go to Facebook and join our Facebook group and our Facebook page. Just search Glitter Chimp. You will find both pages very, very easily. And I mean, ask whatever you need to in there, or you can always email us at info at glitterchimp.com and we will get back to you as soon as we possibly can. Otherwise, you guys have a great rest of your day and we will see you guys again very soon. Happy crafting, everybody.